Dr. Seth Rosenswag is a MAKO certified orthopedic surgeon at Iberia Medical Center. He will present the advantages of MAKO robotic arm assisted surgery for hip replacement as well as full and partial knee replacement. And now, here's Dr. Seth Rosenswag. We're going to talk about hip and knee replacements, and I specifically want to talk about something called the MAKO technology. We now have it here in New Iberia, and I think you're going to see it revolutionizes the way we're able to perform these operations now. So when my patients come back from a visit from a hip or knee replacement, we actually had this happen once. The elevator went down. So after their hip replacement, look what one of our patients was able to do. But in all reality, that's just a clip of the bionic man, but this is probably something more realistic you can expect. Six days after a hip replacement, no cane, no walker, very smooth, almost pain-free. So now we have a new technology to try and make this happen on a consistent basis for everyone. We're the first program in New Iberia, the orthopedic service line, to offer robotic-assisted surgery. It's not androids from the future. There's nobody coming to take over the planet. And the robot is not autonomous. It's not alive. Instead, it's the combination of some very well existing technologies, high-level computing, guidance systems, CAT scans, and computer aid design to give you and your surgeon and a robotic arm the best opportunity for a perfect joint replacement. And this is some pictures from the operating room showing the technology in person. This is the hip replacement module. And you can see the surgeon is in control of the technology. It's an assistant. It is not autonomous. And the reason why this is so important is the joint replacement numbers is going to increase every five years by almost a million. And that means people are living longer and younger people are getting joint replacements. So just in the year 2030, we're going to be doing close to three and a half million joint replacements a year. So if you look at the amount of people hospitalized with osteoarthritis, and that's what that OA stands for, it dwarfs the other diseases you hear about on a daily basis, such as heart attacks, cancer. And it's not just for the elderly, as I alluded to anymore. If you look at this picture, it shows uh, uh, somebody's grandmother going for a fun ride. But our elderly patients now, it's nothing to perform a joint, a hip or knee replacement in an 80, 90 plus year old. So what is cartilage? Cartilage is the covering at the ends of the bone in the joints. And when you hear about osteoarthritis or I have arthritis, it's when the joint starts to wear down. That smooth surface that is so conforming now is starting to touch each other. And uh, the analogy I like to use with patients is square peg in a round hole. And people seem to understand that. Kind of like a blown tire. I tell them the tread is coming off and people seem to understand that. So when I diagnose osteoarthritis, a lot of it just comes from your history and what you tell me, but an x-ray is very important in helping diagnose it also. And you can tell from this x-ray, the left, there is a perfectly good hip, lots of space, but if you look at the right, you can see that there is less space. The bone is touching each other. Here's a knee x-ray demonstrating the same thing. Lots of space on one side, no space on the other. So you probably have a relative that maybe has a varus or valgus stance, and that's a fancy way that we call bow-legged or knock-kneed patients. So before we run to the operating room, we usually do try other means to make you feel better, such as ambulatory aids, crutches, canes, walkers. We also try heat or ice. And physical therapy, if we can make your joint stronger, more flexible, we can take some of the stress off, make you feel better. Medicines steroid injections, all of these things are tools to make people feel better and you'll see a lot of us will offer that to you if you come to our office. The rooster comb, the hyaluronic acid, this is a lubricant injection. Many of you have had this also and we can try this before a knee or hip replacement also. But one of the biggest things that we try and preach is weight loss. Just losing 12 pounds can take up to 20 percent of the stress off of a joint. And in South Louisiana, I know it's hard. These are some of our favorite foods I have pictured for you right here. So the concept of the knee replacement is it's not a hinged. It has several degrees of freedom, translation, twisting, distraction. And the other thing about the knee replacement is the concept is much like the dentist would cap a tooth, we do a very similar thing with the joint replacement. We put on a metal cap on the shin bone, 
we place a metal cap on the thigh bone, and then we place a piece of plastic in between for a smooth surface. Because remember, we've got two rough surfaces that don't match, and now we've created a perfectly round, smooth surface that does. So the concept of the hip replacement, very similar to the knee, that we want to take rough surfaces and make them smooth. So what we can do in the hip replacement, and I'm going to disassemble this model, is we place a socket into the acetabulum or a cup, metal with some plastic in between, and then for the thigh application, we remove the sick ball and we put in a stem with a, a metal ball, and when those two go together, metal, plastic to metal, and there are some other surfaces your surgeon can use, but in the United States, these are the most common ones we do use. Now you can see you have a perfectly smooth surface, a round peg and a round hole as opposed to the square peg, as I tell patients, in a round hole. So now we've created surfaces that are perfectly articulating with each other, very low friction, and, and this tends to decrease pain immediately and increase flexibility and movement. And we've come a long way since the beginning of hip and knee replacements. The implant designs, the materials, the incisions, much smaller. We used to keep people two weeks for a hip or knee replacement. Now they go home the same day sometimes. Pain control, we've come a long way. We don't just do pain pumps with morphine anymore. We have much more elegant ways where people can walk immediately after and go home. And blood loss and blood transfusions, we've learned how to really, really minimize those and blood transfusions are almost a thing of the past after a knee or hip replacement. So the original hip knee replacements were acrylic hinges and if you know anything about a knee joint, it's not a hinge. A knee rotates, it pivots, it distracts, it translates, it has six degrees of freedom. It's more than a hinge. And John Insall in the late 60s, early 70s in New York, he really understood that the knee was not constrained and that it wasn't a hinge. And he helped come up with some of the newer materials and the newer style of joint replacement. And I tell all my friends, if I'm ever the father of any sort of surgery, you're gonna use my high school picture with all my hair. So one of the concepts Dr. Insall taught us was when you perform a knee replacement, you want to cert, uh, set a certain line, the mechanical axis. It's a line that goes from the hip down to the ankle through the knee. And if you can restore this, if you can restore the balance, the rotation, and that knee from straight to bent is balanced, that's going to be a happy patient and hopefully that knee replacement lasts a long time. These were some of the early instruments that we used to put the knee replacements in. You can see they're mechanical, external, and internal type of jigs and devices where we're taking measurements, and they're very good, and they are precise, but are we truly getting the best rotational and cuts and balance that we think we can do? And I would tell you the answer is probably not. So if you balance the knee and put it in just right, your x-ray should have a line from the center of the hip to the center of the ankle that passes through the knee. And when I see an x-ray like this, I just want to go out afterwards with my buddies and have that drink and go home to my family and they greet me like this. And that's the Rosenzweig 7 and they don't really greet me like that. I wish. So even when we think we're doing the best job possible, one out of five of our patients still aren't as happy with their joint replacement. I think when it comes down to it, we've maximized our ability to make the implants as good as they can be. The design, the incisions, the blood loss, the pain control, it probably circles back around to how well is your surgeon putting the knee or hip replacement in. And are we precise and accurate? Meaning, can I hit that bullseye? And not only can I hit that bullseye, can I hit it every time? So if you look at other fields, and especially baseball, if you hit the ball 30% of the time, that's a Hall of Fame career. In basketball, if you make 50% of your shots, that's a Hall of Fame career. And if you're an NFL quarterback, 65% of your passes, we'll take it. But as a surgeon, if I'm 90% accurate, I'm probably out of a job. So the concept behind the MAKO helping your surgeon perform a knee or hip replacement is that we're gonna use the automation of the saw or the reamer. We're gonna use the navigation so that we can make these perfect fashion cuts and mills, and we're going to use something called stereo haptics, where the robot knows exactly where your knee or hip is in space at all times. So the idea is we're going to know more, cut less, or color within the lines, as I say. So one of the advantages 
of the MAKO is before we ever go to the operating room, we've created a model of your knee specific to you, and I can plan the exact size and shape of the implant you need. The CAT scan that we get before the surgery makes a 3D model, and with, with this 3D model, I know within a quarter of a millimeter your bone spurs, your depths, exactly where your bone is. And the other nice thing about this system is if I try and go outside the lines, the saw automatically will stop, the reamer will stop, it will not let me go outside the lines. So there's a lot of safety protections built into this to make sure we're performing the most perfect joint replacement we can. So the Mako technology really is a one of a kind. It's the only one on the market that can do the things that it does. It takes that 3D CAT scan of your knee or your hip and we make a precise model down to the nooks, the crannies, the bone spurs, the imperfections, so we know what your joint looks like down to the quarter of a millimeter. And then at that point, once we've married that information to the robot in the operating room, we can do precise cuts, measurements to get you the balance, to get you the tensions, to get you the most perfect joint replacement we know how to do at this point. And before we leave that operating room, we know the exact values of what we've just created and we can verify that. You cannot do that with any other technology. Let's hear it from a patient directly though. Oh, the pain was unbearable. I love to work in my yard and I love to plant flowers and I could do nothing. I made an appointment and I went and talked to Dr. Seth Rosenzweig and he said, Miss Jeanette, what do you want me to do? I said, I, I want to fix my knee. He said, well, I can do that and I guarantee you, you're going to walk. I want to live pain free and be able to do what I want to do. But we don't just do total knees or total hips. We can also do what we call a partial knee replacement. So the advantage to a partial knee is that we don't have to replace the entirety. And there is advantages to that. The knee is made up of three compartments. You have an inner medial compartment, an outer lateral, and the kneecap joint. And the Mako can help us replace any of those. So if you don't need your kneecap joint or the outer replaced, we can just replace the inner, which is very common. And you can get back to work very quickly, long lasting satisfaction. Same technology, we're gonna do a CAT scan get a 3D model of your specific joint, your specific knee, and then at that point we can take it to our software, we can plan the operation before we ever go to the operating room. And then once we go to the operating room, we can make adjustments. And we do that by mapping your own anatomy, we send it to the software, and at that point the robot knows exactly where you are in time and space. And using the devices with the robot's assistant, your surgeon, will fashion and color within the lines to make the perfect joint replacement, the perfect balance, the perfect alignment, so that before we leave the operating room, we are all satisfied we've given you the best operation possible. And with that uh, comes the accelerated recovery, the less pain, the less blood loss, all of the advantages to the perfect joint replacement. We also have a hip application for the Stryker Mako. The same technology that helps our knee patients get back quicker, less pain, more satisfaction. We can provide that also with the hip replacement, whether your surgeon performs an approach called anterior, posterior, or lateral. It can be used for any hip replacement if your surgeon has access. The technology works very much the same as the knee in that we do perform a CAT scan before the operating room. We'll create a 3D model of your specific hip so that we know where every imperfection, every nook, every cranny, every bone spur. And then we bring that to the computer before we ever go to the operating room. We can basically create your operation virtually, knowing what implant size is, where the resections will be. And then when we go to the operating room, if we don't like those, we can make our adjustments at that point based on real-time mapping of your exact anatomy. Again, your surgeon is in control of the operation. Using this MAKO technology as a tool to help determine distances, balancing, tension, all of these things at your surgeon's disposal to give you the most perfect joint replacement we know how to do. And after this is all said and done, once again, you can be like Lee Majors in The Six Million Dollar Man. And this was one of our patients leaving the parking lot to get to his vehicle after his knee and hip replacement. So the Mako technology is being used worldwide. As of about six months ago, over 200,000 of these Mako procedures have been performed. And 
uh, 13 years of experience with this technology, so it's very established. This is a technology that I think you'll see across the country. It's here, it's here to stay. And what I tell my patients with automation and technology is, in every in industry, in every field, this technology has helped us advance progress and efficiency. So I think you're gonna see it's here to stay. We have very good track record with it. And the patients that we've been performing these on are having quicker, less painful, uh, more satisfying results. And what I like about the Mako technology is it is kind of a unicorn. It really is the only one on the market right now that can do what it does. And those things are, it does make a 3D model of your joint by using a CAT scan. And then at that point, we can plan it before we ever go to the operating room. And what I think is very important is this technology will not let you color outside the lines. As hard as we humans try to make it imperfect, it will keep us where we need to be. And again, before we ever leave that operating room, I'm gonna make sure that your numbers are as balanced as they can be. And one of the analogies my patients like is, I compare it to when you go to the wheel shop and they put your car up on the tire rack and they balance it. We now have that ability with a patient's knee or hip. But why don't I have Miss Peggy tell you about her experience? Pain was really, really terrible. And sleeping, no, I didn't sleep. Like if I'd mop, dust, whatever, just moving around. It would hurt. But I told Dr. Seth that when I crawled into his office, he could do surgery on me. Well, I called him and says, I'm crawling. Can you do the surgery? He says, I'm, I want to do it robotically. I think the robotic surgery is wonderful. I don't know if I could have went without bending my knee. I can do anything now. So what I really want my patients to know is what this technology isn't. This is not an automated Android that does anything without your surgeon's control or discretion. Okay, this is a, not a living robot. It's something that can only do what your surgeon directs. So it's really an automated technology, computerized system to assist your surgeon, not so much a robot that has its own agenda. So if you have chronic knee or hip pain and think you are a candidate for the Mako hip knee or partial knee application, please visit us at imcmako.com.